This is a test video. It's not really a test video of how good a full range speaker can sound compared with a soft dome tweeter. It's more of a test speaker to see how close I can get a full range speaker sounding like a soft dome tweeter. As you can see, it's the same deal. And yes, it's a reasonably expensive dome tweeter. Speaking of expense, this is a full range speaker from a satellite speakers. I bought uh, for $10 at the op shop, also with the, with the woofer. And the best way to test the tweeter for treble is with an S test. So, so S's sound like an S, not an SH. I'm going to um, sit down or is it, I'm going to the other word down. <laughs> anyway, we'll do that test first on TV. Do the S test between the both speakers. We do my speaker and then the soft tones and then mine again. Okay, do the TV thing. Bit of an art thing there you're going. Just show you my amplifier. And have to change it to radio. Now, we're going to put it on TV for speech. We're going to have a speech test. Takes care of most of those. Perception is by far the biggest constraint the biosolids industry faces. Despite years of research and rigorous regulations, there is still a lingering negative image in some parts of the community. And as the waste we produce increases alongside population growth, biosolids could soon prove beneficial for much more than farming. Co-generation. Industry to, to continue to take advantage of. Waste not what? And, and that's what we want. We want them to have a happy home, Jason and Sarah and the kids, and we wish that they would get along with everyone. If you really earnestly felt that, and if you earnestly uh, cared about Bill and I's feelings, why then didn't you, right at the very beginning, we come right out and ask you? Deflated, check this out. Not even this 250 kilo quad bike and rider can pop the Euro bed, so you know it's going to be. Aerochain speakers, heard enough S's. With an ordinary blower, with ultra high 360 millimeter sub. But and support. It even comes with a 30 night sleep on it money back guarantee. With Eurobed, the hardest part will be getting your guests to leave. And once they're gone, the built in pump deflates the Eurobed in under three minutes. And. Can Laura and Bill find a way to accept Jason into their lives so this family can start to heal? Well, we're going to find out. You're sure not? That was nice me. Will undoubtedly be here for a good time, but also for the main event, the Doncaster Mile, and that's a three million dollar race, and today it's the 150th race. And just change back to mine again. Race. And when you're looking at the Doncaster Mile, Gay Waterhouse has a particular interest. Be if she wins, it will be an unprecedented eight win for a trainer for the Doncaster Mile. But Hallowed Crown, the horse trained by the legendary Bart Cummings and his grandson, James, is the favorite for the race. Now, the track is, is still quite it? wet, so that is makes it, is it? Is, is it? Is it? Is it the flash? Now, we're going to go to this um, right symbol test. Time now for sports news, and here's ABC Grandstand's Shannon Bird and Shannon Brad.
have to um, find the remote. This is my speakers going first. The ride symbol takes a little while before it comes. Get rid of the remote. Listen to the ride symbol when it comes. I'll tell you when it comes. change to the soft domes. There's extra bass on my speakers so the, it turns the camera microphone down and so these speakers will sound louder through the camera. Everybody rise up. There's also an efficiency difference. You have to wait for the ride symbol to come. There's full range speakers normally. Um, the ride symbol sort of sounds like this sort of thing, you know. But as you heard, you could hear it in my speakers. my speakers. Um, there's a vast efficiency difference because the full range speakers don't reproduce much top end. Everything else has to be cut down you know, as well you know, to match. Now I wind the back. Range speakers again and listen for the ride symbol.
now, I'll tell you why I'm reasonably successful. There's actually a ride symbol there. It's because I've got um, a little bit of aluminium foil. It's normal aluminium foil. It's a little whizzer. A bit hard to see, I suppose. It's a bit dark, isn't it? Maybe this speaker might be a bit better. Not really yet, a bit better. You can see it now, there. Eh? And it's folded and, and it's sort of, sort of crushed a bit. That gives it sort of, the folds make it sort of act like a concertina. Because if it's just one single piece, it's so thin, the foil's really thin. And it waggles and flops and then it just vibrates really bad. But when you crush it up like that, it acts like a concertina and it's basically still rigid. Not only that, it can, it can actually flex easily still and stay rigid, producing nice dribble. Without that little piece in there, no joke, the ride cymbal is out of focus. Um, we have focus, yes. Without that little piece of foil, the ride cymbal is like that. No joke. It's the smallness of the foil. Actually, so small, it's quarter of an inch by an eighth of an inch, a little bit bigger, and folded over in the middle, made of normal owl foil. And the, the actual centre of the speaker is just off as paper. It's also scribed the line around the cone, scribed the line around those parts where the um, where they've got the lead in of the speakers, scribed around there. So the lead in buggered up, buggers up all the sound because it's so heavy. The only way around it, I don't have to describe around it, describe around it, it um, makes the cone vibrate independently of those heavy bits. And the idea of the scribe line right around is that centre bit inside the scribe acts like a really tiny cone separate to the other cone and so it can vibrate separately to give better highs, better for um, high frequencies. Um, all that, a lot of things done to it to make it do what a soft tone does. I oh, will nearly. Also I have med range though in this, but this one hasn't. All the med range is in the big speaker and there's just top end and that, just treble. But here, in this one, I have med range in that because it's a full range speaker. So I put med and treble, no bass in it at all, the cone doesn't move at all. Just med range, upper med range and treble in that. And um, 